Here's how you play cover up. You'll need your fraction kit, a fraction die with faces, and a partner. After you roll, you'll write down your roll. We didn't have any more six, so we didn't put them on our uh, on our hole. Then you roll again and you will record that as an addition and pretty soon you will put your one-fourth on your hole. As you can see we left a little room for the one-sixteenth because we didn't have any one-sixteenth pieces. Oh, there's one-sixteenth again. You know, something we could do with, with two-sixteenths is we could turn two-sixteenths into one eighth. So I have one sixteenth, one fourth plus one sixteenth, and then underneath that I'll tell how I exchange two sixteenths to make one eighth. And there it is, one fourth and one eighth made out of those two sixteenths. Let's see what I roll next. Oh, it's a sixteenth. Well, since we don't have any sixteenths, we're just going to make a little space for it, and we will write it down on top to complete our addition problem. Next roll, another sixteenth. Guess what? One sixteenth, one sixteenth equals an eighth, and we'll just write that down. We'll just use an eighth. As you can see underneath, I showed that again. One sixteenth plus one sixteenth equals one eighth. And there we are, putting one eighth on our hole. Our object is to fill up our hole. And here we go again. You can see that I, we figured out that all the pieces I have together can make a half, so I wrote it down and I just put the half right on the whole strip. And there's one-fourth. Okay, since I rolled one-fourth, my first thing to do is to write it down. As you can see on the top row, it's the last number on the right-hand side, one-fourth. And then I place it on my whole, which means I only have one more fourth left. Let's see what I get next. Oh, a sixteenth. Well, since I don't have any sixteenths, I just keep room for it in my head, or um, then I just also write it down on the cover-up list there. And I rolled again, and there's another sixteenth. And well, I know so one sixteenth and one sixteenth is one eighth. I can put one eighth down on my chart there, and then I can put the one eighth on the whole. And now, I only have one eighth to go. I hope I roll an eighth. Let's see. Oh, another sixteenth. Well, you know, I don't have any sixteenth pieces, so I'm just going to keep it in my head and hope I roll another sixteenth after this. As you can see, I've written it on my list up top. It's the, the number all the way to the right, one sixteenth. And now, here I put that on there. And I rolled another sixteenth. So. There it is. I have completed my hole with all those numbers.